Okay, guys, you have to watch this gameplay. This gameplay is actually so satisfying. Playing some shipment with the automaton, and oh my gosh, this gun is so satisfying to use. I felt like a human sentry turret. I was just flicking on every enemy, and I had pretty good accuracy. So if you do want to use the automaton for yourself on the muzzle, I recommend you guys to use the recoil booster. Just can increase that fire rate, leading to a quicker TTK. We are losing accuracy, but it's only 3.8% to our horizontal, and so you're not going to really notice it. Say you want to have that sound suppression, then I would do the mercury silencer. You get some recoil control, which is nice. You don't really need it, but it's super nice. And then you get that sound suppression. For the barrel, you want to do the sniper barrel. This is just going to maximize that range. It's going to bring up the effective damage range by 50%. Plus, on top of that, we get a 40% increase to the bow velocity, making this gun very, very, very good at range. Like, very good at range. Also, on top of that, we get an increase to the horizontal recoil control by 10%. For the optic, I would use whatever you like, but for me, I like the slate reflector. For the stock to increase our stray speed, we are going to be doing the skeletal stock, and it's going to help us control that recoil. If you don't know what strafing is, it's pretty much when you walk back and forth while you're ADS and so if you're in the middle of a gunfight you always want to move back and forth because it's going to give you rotational aim assist plus it's going to make you a harder target to hit and so pretty much in every gunfight if you can move back and forth and this is going to allow you to do that very quickly. On the proficiency you want to do the tight grip if you want to maximize that recoil control what you can also do is the frenzy it's going to give you more health after you kill the enemies so if you're playing DOS house or shipment this is a very nice perk to use on the rest of the maps it doesn't really matter. For the kit I like to do fully loaded just to make sure I don't run out of ammo but this one is personal preference and so you should read through these and find one that you like. On the rear grip, because this gun does have a 50 round mag, we're going to be doing the polymer grip so we get more recoil control as we fire the weapon. Plus on top of that, we get some flinch resistance and so if you're in a gunfight at long range with an enemy and you have pretty good accuracy, there is no way you are going to lose that unless they have like a sniper. For the ammo, you want to do the lengthen just so the bullets leave our gun and hit the enemies as fast as possible. This gun's very good at range and so it's nice to be able to have a very high bullet velocity. Lastly, on the underbarrel, just to maximize that recoil control, you want to do the hand stop. It's going to bring up the vertical and the horizontal by 4.8%. Here is an overview of the class in case you guys want to take a screenshot of it. With all that said, that is going to wrap it up for the class setup portion of this video. If you guys do enjoy this video, a like is greatly appreciated. It really helps me out in that YouTube algorithm. And if you're new and you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with the notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload. But so anyways, let's get right into this gameplay. Go, 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 go. These guys too, this gun is so good. I completely actually forgot about this gun until like a few days ago. I was like, you know what? Need to find a gun I haven't done a video on in a while. And then I was going through all the guns. And I saw the automaton. And I was like, oh my god, the automaton, one of my favorite weapons when the game first came out. Just because there's like a pretty good TTK. No recoil. High fire rate. So satisfying to use. And so if you haven't leveled this gun up, you should definitely level it up. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, it's too nice. Okay, I might be dead right here. Okay, I think he just Houdini'd. Okay, so we're just going to play for the nuke, so we're going to play a little bit slower. And once we get the nuke, we'll play very aggressive. We just need to secure the bag, secure the win for our team. Here we got the doggos. There we go. Let's call him. Actually, I'm not going to call on the bomber run until I get the nuke. Because the bomb run a lot of time kills you. I'm so happy that regular shipment's back, not uh, the ship moss. I hate ship moss so much. Ship moss was like cool, but you couldn't see anything and you had Krampus. Oh, there's so many of them. I might be dead. Oh, dude, there's so many. I love that spawn. <laughs> Look at that. You don't even need to peek them. You can just wall bang them if you got this perk. Okay, we're a few kills off this nuke, so I just got to get this and then we'll play aggressive. Let's actually get some high ground on them. Bunny in the crates, weirdo. I don't like that guy at all. I don't like him. No, boys, we actually died. Why did I, how did I die? Dude, I can't believe I forgot about this weapon. It is so nasty. You guys will definitely see more videos on this as long as it performs well on YouTube because this thing is so fun to use. I still like the Cooper Carbine more just because there's a little bit more mobility, but this is probably my third or fourth favorite gun in the game. Or second, you know, maybe. Maybe even more than the MP40. Okay, buddy, you cannot lay down there. That's illegal. That's rude. And, oh my god, it didn't go after me. Let's go. Okay, we're, we're actually getting triple cap. This is not good. 
Dude, I feel like a human sentry turret with this thing. They should be spawning back here. Or they're spawning behind us. That's kind of awkward. Okay, teammates, we got to get this flag. We got to get this flag for the spawn trap. Too much going on. Oh my gosh, too much, too much. Imagine if there was a mode where you couldn't use equipment or like lethal score streaks. That'd be actually so fun. Buddy, why are you guys all in there? That was so inappropriate. Too satisfying. Too satisfying. Whoa, what is that spawn? I think as long as we're right here, we should be okay. They might spawn in there, which is super annoying, but hopefully not. Okay, we got the local informants. Okay, last time I pushed up, I died, so I'm just gonna step back here. Oh my god, see, we pushed up and then someone was just mounted up and they killed us. Dude, so many. So another really fun attachment on this gun is the 75 round mag. It just takes an extra bullet to kill, and so I prefer to have the 50 or a mag if I can kill the, the enemies with one less bullet. But it is super fun to use, especially on shipment. You can just literally just beam people. You got 75 bullets with like the mobility of like an SMG, so it's just amazing. Found these attack dogs. Oh, okay, we don't have them yet. Got the local informants. That's so fun. Oh! Thank you, teammate. I feel like we just sat back here the entire gameplay. It's okay, though. We're, we're just going for nukes. If we get this nuke, though, then we win the game. If they are to my right. I wish my teammates could capture B. I should help them, but I wish they were good enough to capture B. It would help out so much. 17, I think that says, or 12. I think it's 17. Dude, why is it always slow down when I'm close to it? Okay, I'm, I think I'm dead. Why do you have to throw a thermite? Why did that spawn? Call of Duty! Why? Why does he spawn there? That's so annoying. Dude, oh my god, we're gonna have to nuke right there. Like, this is a very easy lobby to get a nuke in, but there's just so much bullet in this game that it makes it kind of hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Dang it, it's like on bigger maps, it's super easy, but on smaller ones, it's just there's so much room for, like, just weird things to happen, like, right there. How am I supposed to control that? I was right in front of him. Okay, there still is a chance, though. There still is a chance. Oh my gosh, get off me, dude. Get off me. Okay, you know what? We're calling this bombing run. We could have got so many kills if I got the nuke at the beginning. Because then I would have called in the bombing run. It would have been perfect. Oh my gosh. I can't get over it, boys. I actually can't get over it. And girls, sorry. If there is any girls that actually watch the videos, let me know. If you're a girl, let me know if you watch the videos. Not in like a creepy way, but genuinely curious if there's any girls that play Call of Duty that watch the videos. Okay, that's why we do not go in mid. You just get blasted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, imagine shipment, no explosives. Like a mode where there is no explosives, no fire. That would be absolutely amazing. Oh, imagine being him. That sucks. That would actually suck. Let's go. Okay, we got 149 kills. No V2 rocket, but I think it was pretty satisfying to watch that. So I'm just going to keep this as the gameplay. Let's see if they have anything to say. So we get the one, we get the two, and then we get the three, and then we get the four. Oh my gosh, too nasty. Well, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. But without further ado, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video.